As president, I can report to the nation, aggression is defeated, the war is over. For George Herbert Walker Bush, victory in the first Gulf War was his finest hour. Never a political firebrand, Bush was often described as having the best resume in America. His strengths, loyalty, energy, a gregarious personality, and most of all, experience. What it all comes down to, after all the shouting and the tears, is the man at the desk. And who should sit at that desk? My friends, I am that man. But George Bush was also very private and believed, even after decades in public life, that he was misunderstood. I was never very clear in letting people know what my heartbeat is. Born in 1924, Bush was raised in Greenwich, Connecticut. His father, Prescott Bush, was a U.S. Senator, and from a young age, George Bush was a natural leader. At Phillips Andover, the boy known as Poppy was class president. At Yale, Phi Beta Kappa, and throughout, captain of almost every team he played on. At 18, he defied his parents by enlisting in the Navy and became its youngest pilot. Two years later, he was shot down over the Pacific. I'll never forget it. The plane, the fumes and the smoke, and it was terrifying. Ambitious and impatient, Bush married Barbara Pierce in 1945, finished Yale in just three years, and moved to Texas to seek his fortune in the oil business. They had six children, and by 1964, Bush could afford to turn to politics. George Bush, the Republican opportunity. Over the next 20 years, George Bush would become one of the most experienced public servants in America. After two terms in Congress, he became ambassador to the United Nations, chairman of the Republican National Committee, envoy to China, and finally, his favorite job, director of the CIA, all of which prepared him for this. I am absolutely convinced I will be your next president. Thank you very, very much. But Bush couldn't compete with the charismatic Ronald Reagan, instead serving as his vice president for eight years. In 1988, it was his turn. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. And Bush called for greater civility. To make kinder the face of the nation and gentler the face of the world. <laughs> 